Let's fix it. Let's fix it. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now you can understand. You guys wanted KBOT, right? You guys wanted KBOT. <laughs> he lives. That was for you, Whammer. Anyways, guys, welcome to the the uh, the Farm Sim Show. Now you guys can you can actually understand what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, 11, 10 mods total. We got one that's PC only today. And uh, I totally forgot to fix it. I, was, I meant to fix it right off the get-go and my button didn't work. <laughs> Uh, welcome in, guys. Good to see you, folks. Thanks for joining me this morning. We're going to look at all the mods that we got in. Well, there's not a ton to look at here, but there's some really cool stuff that we need to look at. I think DJ's already touched on top of this. That is for sure. Let's pop on in. We'll take a quick look. Boom. All right. First things first, I'm going to look at these last. Uh, these are cool. They're cool trucks. I'm pretty happy with those. All right. Let's hop on over this way here. Excellent. Now, we're going to start off with something a bit simple right off the bat here. The Flegel VFW 25,000. It's a slurry tanker, guys. I don't think there's much to explain here. It sprays slurry everywhere. It's got some, look at those big floaters on there. Those are nice. You can't change anything on it. It is exactly what you'd think. It just sprays slurry. Uh, brand new Flegel trailer. Let's move along. Enough there. Good to see. <laughs> did you like, did you like my voice? Was it good? <laughs> Next up. We got a new pressure washer. Now, can you tell which one's which? One is old, one is new. One is old, one is new. Uh, you can't really tell, they both work. But this one here, you can pick up and put places. So you can put this in the back of your truck. <laughs> Just set it for a ride. Uh, you can place this into the back of a vehicle and move it around your map now. You don't have to go into the store to do it. That is awesome. Um, it actually gives me an excuse to wash my trucks now. So I can place this over here. Let's go wash one of these trailers. Let's put it on the side there. Boom. Go to town and wash your vehicles. So cool. I like that. That is fantastic. Anyways, that's the Karcher, uh, the Karcher pressure washer. Brand new. This one here we can't pick up. This is the old one. Can't pick it up, of course. The new one you can pick up and move it. <laughs> you guys like K-Bot that much? Really? Come on, Dirk. <laughs> All right, let's keep on moving down the line. I'm going to talk about the tractors last, or not last, but second last. Uh, we also have the Horse Tyranno 5FM. Uh, it's a cultivator, of course. We'll open this bad boy up. No real options on this, as you'd expect, but it's just a smaller version of the horse cultivator that we already have from uh, the horse pack. So if you have the horse pack, it's a smaller version of that. I think it's 4.8 meters in size. Nothing you can really change on this, guys. And uh, it is exactly as you'd expect. But a nice little cultivator if you want to use it with a smaller tractor, of course. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Fantastic. Let's move. Okay, let's go back. I need to, I need to talk to these tractors. These are absolutely amazing. These little Fiat's. Um, well, first of all, look at this. A Fiat with a track system? Come on, man. This is awesome. You got a Fiat with a track system. And then look at the floaters on the two-wheel drive. So you got a four-wheel drive. We got a two-wheel drive. Four-wheel, two-wheel. You guys get it. This is the two-wheel version with some big, big floaters on it. I love it. And over on this side, we got the four-wheel with the track system. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Now, there's a couple options with both. Let's go take a look. We'll, we'll take a look at both of these in the store because we, we have to. 
Ah, small guys. So there's the regular Fiat, of course. This is the new updated version. You've got the two-wheel drive and the all-wheel drive version. Of course, we got some color options. Not as many as I would like. I'd love to see a couple more color options on this for your main color. So that just changes your kind of main body here. The same then your design changes the roof and uh, yeah, you can change that up. So it looks a little bit different, of course. Rim colors, same kind of thing. Not as many options as you'd like to see. You got gray, white, and black. But anyways, it's nice to have some options there, of course. Uh, and then let's take a quick look. What does this do? It's two wheel with wide wheels are awesome. DJ, I agree, my friend. <laughs> um, thanks for the super chat. I don't know if Kbot got those out to you or not. <laughs> uh, the, for configurations, you got front weight options. You've got, that's it, front weight. There's those three options. That's right, you got a front pin or a front weight. So you can see there's the one, what, 100 kilogram. Is that even really a weight though? Like there's barely anything there. But there's 100 kilograms, and then you have the 700 kilos up front, and that's it. Uh, I wish you could get like a three-point hitch, but I mean, we could always do that, I guess, with one of the mods now. Uh, tire options. You got your Trellebargs, McKeons, Michelins, Midas, Lizards, of course. And then, of course, well, Lizards, you have the option to go with a crawler, crawler track. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the two-wheel drive with the crawler track. I mean, come on, man. That's awesome. Uh, and then for the Trellebargs, let's see. Let's put the big... There's the big floaters. Like, pretty big difference from your normal wides to the big floaters. Look at those. That is awesome. I love the look of that. That looks so cool. Anyways, uh, beacons, of course, you have options there. Kind of standard stuff. Design options, you can change your exhaust. Get a couple different options. Your engine setups. You have your base, 110 horsepower. You also have the 1300, which is 150 horsepower. I think this one has one more. Yeah, you have the tuned 1300, which is 185 horsepower. This thing's a bit of a beast now. 185 horsepower out of this little bad boy. A little two-wheel drive tractor. That is awesome. And then, of course, a front uh, front loader attachment, too, if you so desire. Look at that. You get the headlights, too. Look at that. I didn't notice that before. You get the way the headlights change over for your front, your, uh, your front loader attachment. That's pretty cool. Anyways, same exact same options, only you have this now in a four-wheel variant. But, of course, since it's four-wheel drive, uh, where is it? Lizard. You also have the option of going with a front drive track as well. Nice. I like that. That is so cool. <laughs> Come on. A Fiat, fully tracked Fiat. Um, guy's pretty cool. I am uh, pretty excited about that. That is, <laughs> this thing looks amazing. Let's just jump inside here. I mean, it looks just like the in-game Fiat, of course, as you'd expect. But uh, 185 horsepower tracked Fiat. Not bad, guys. I'm going to be using this thing for sure. This is cool. This is a lot of fun. All right. Put it back into place. Get our lights on. Lights look good. Get all four of them up. I mean, yeah, fantastic mod. Whoever made this, they did a fantastic job. You know what? Who made this? I got to go double check now. Who exactly made this one? Because this is such a cool little update. Dale's Farmer. Dale's Farmer. What a fantastic mod, my friend. That is awesome. Very cool. I'm excited. Anyways, you guys can't tell I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beast mode indeed. All right, let's keep on moving down the line. I think I've talked enough about that. I thought that was cool though. Uh, let's talk about the uh, the bale trailer, the bale trucks. So we got two different versions on the bale trucks as well. Uh, one for round bales, of course. One for square bales, as you can see here. A couple options for colors. And I think there's a couple engine options and tire options as well. well before we load one of these up, let's take a quick look. You're going to find this in your truck section. And you've got the square bales. You've got the round bales. So our round bales one, we'll just look at that. You can see we've got some color options for the main color, which is the cab. Boom. And then your design color, well, that is just the flat deck. There you go. You can kind of get an idea what it does there. Your tire wheel brands, Lizard, Trelleborg, there you go. No changes really there. What you expect. Engine options, same as you normally expect. You get the turbo, of course. So you can go from 500 to 100 or 875 horsepower. Not bad. Cool. So not a ton of options, but uh, it does seem to work fairly well. So I've loaded up obviously the square bales. Let's gra grab into this orange one here. And I've got a bunch of round bales set up. I'll bring up the menu so you guys can see it. Uh, we're in normal position right now. I'll put it into operating position. And we'll just go for a quick drive on by. Look at that. Oh man. I love auto load. <laughs> Boom. No problem whatsoever. So I think we could double up this. I think it goes, oh man, I can't remember. How, what's, the, what's the total on this one? Let's say in the uh, store how many we can load on there. It's got to say, right? Uh, total bales. 40 bales. There you go. 28. 40 round bales. I don't think there's another trailer that does 40 bales. That's that's a ton, guys. That's an absolute ton. 40 
40 brown bales is, yeah, that's quite a bit. Let's see if we can unload this now. There you go. Unloading position. Does it, I can't move it on this one, can I? No, I can't. I was hoping I could slide everything around with my controller. It doesn't have the option. And these front bales are going to go for a bit of a ride here. So let's just put these back in the corner. Drop them down. Boom. Sweet. Um, load them back up. Can I load them back up again? Not bad, guys. This is a pretty sweet mod. Nice looking trailer. I do like that. That's cool. Fantastic. So there you go. We got auto load trailer, auto load truck, I should say. Uh, square bale and round bale version. Both of them. Um, nice band trucks as well, of course. I like that. Very cool. Cool. That's it for the new mods as far as vehicles go. Let's go take a look at some of the placeables. We got a couple different placeables as well uh, to move around either. Yeah, it doesn't work. No straps either. You're right. Thanks, EJ. No straps on the roof or anything like that, unfortunately. But that being said, let me just double check something here. No, because as soon as you... Mm, just because I'm thinking about it now. I just want to make sure I'm not losing my mind. Uh, B. Yeah, no straps. That'd be too bad. It'd be nice if you could put straps on. I agree. Uh, oh. Yeah, the straps don't really work. So you can see I've got the straps there. If I put it back to this one. It's funny the straps don't go around the uh, the bales. That's too bad. Oh, well. What do you do? Um, let's talk about uh, the placeable objects now. Did, did you get the straps to go around the bales on yours, DJ? I obviously couldn't get the straps just there. And when I tested it earlier, I quickly looked at it. It didn't work for me either then. I should mention, guys, that these mods, like I said, the, C, uh, the Sierra there is putting out. These mods are all available right now. So if you guys are looking for them, they're in the Mod Hub right now. Um, placeable objects, placeable buildings. We've got technically three. Four. Four. Not three. Four. Uh, one of them is a simple old shed. I don't know what you want to see here. It's a simple old shed. It's seasons ready. All these are seasons ready, actually. So just be aware of that. This is just it right here. It's an old shed. Next up, we have... Oh, which one is this? The cattle? Is this the cattle barn? I can't remember which one's which now. This is the cattle stable. The cattle stable, we have two variants of this one. Uh, you've got one with like a grass roof right here. And you also have this one here, which is more of a... I think it's just a regular roof. Is it both grass? No, when I placed it, I didn't think it was grass. You have, yeah, they're gra like a grass roof cattle stable. They're pretty small. Uh, eight cows in each. Not much to talk about here. Pretty small little stables. You're not getting a lot in here, guys. It's pretty tiny. Farmer Pierce, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing, Farmer Pierce? Next up, down in this one here, is the cow barn. So cattle stable, cow barn. Uh, the cow barn itself, once again, eight cows only. Very small. Uh, let's see if we can jump in. They're identical, I think, as far as everything else goes. I didn't notice anything different when I was quickly looking at them. Yeah, they're, they're identical, just the, uh, obviously, the brick facade versus, like, a stucco. Depending on what you guys want to do there, you get both options. Just doing the dishes. <laughs> Good to hear, man. Um, I thought I could open one of these. There it goes. Open. Thank you. You can see the doors open up. It's got the little latchy latch. And uh, there you go. That's all there is to it. Very straightforward. But like I said, eight cows, pretty small. Uh, not a lot you're going to do there. And speaking of small, the last, our last placeable mod is the uh, the small chicken shed. And this thing is even smaller. <laughs> Look at the size of this little building. Uh, is it six chickens? Do I have it right? I think it's six chickens is what this holds. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with six chickens. What exactly are you going to do with six chickens? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I think it's six. Let me double check that. Do I have it right? I think it's six. Let's see if we go in here. Down to the end. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, six chickens. That's it. 20 grand. Um, how long would it take you to make that 20 grand back with six chickens? Like, seriously. Oh, uh, man. It's a cool building. I do like the building. Like, you could, we could use this for just as a placeable object to place down and make your farm look nice. But you're never going to make the money back using eggs for six chickens. I mean, you're going to get a, about a carton of eggs maybe a day. Um, I digress. <laughs> Uh, hey, Gary, how you doing? Yeah, I remember you, Gary. Hey, Bill Dump. What's going on, Bill Dump? Anyways, so you go, there you go, folks. That is all the placeable objects. Like I said, kind of smaller smaller uh, packs. Nothing huge. Now, let's bounce back on over here while I'm running across. Uh, we do have some updates to talk about as well. There's a Seasons Geo for Poland that's also new out. So if you're looking for Poland-type season stuff, there is a Seasons Geo that is now available. Um, if we go down to our updates... Uh, the Big Brute, we're going to talk about that in a second. Somerset Farms has also been updated. Uh, the Vatterstad Rapid 300C, 400C, we talked about this the other day actually, has been updated. And same with the modular map. Uh, what was the update on this one again? Uh, Add a Rapid 400C, 
fertilizer configuration, added hoses, change the wheels. So there's a couple different options there, a couple of added additions. Uh, as for Somerset Farms, uh, now works with seasons, move chickens. So quite a few options here for Somerset Farms actually, which is quite a nice map. I like this little map, it's kind of nice. But there's a few options uh, that have been updated. So if you're looking for looking to play this map, just be aware there is an update for that. So give that a shot. Um, same with modular map and the Fiat 80 series as well has been updated. You get a few more configurations now. Uh, let me see here. Added visible motor and new tire configurations. I, I should have brought this one out to go with the other other Fiat's. I just love those little Fiat's we got, guys. Those things are fantastic. Okay, let's talk about the big brute because the big brute it was the most exciting thing that I thought. So. When I first saw it, I said, added realistic wheels. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and fixed air spring. Okay, that, I didn't even know there was an error with the spring. But anyways, uh, realistic wheels. Well, now, I don't remember having these, but these look pretty sweet. And we get narrows. We get narrows in the big brute now. Um, I haven't checked for crop destruction. Do we have crop destruction on right now? I can check it right now to see I, if they're actually going to allow me to do this. Let's see. Crop destruction, make sure it's on. Uh, where's my crop destruction on? Perfect. And I don't think I own this field. Let's put this field on. We'll just test it quickly to make sure it's working. Uh, where is it? Do I own this? Yes, I do. Okay, let's go for a quick cruise and see if this is going to work. These are the narrows on here now. The nice chrome, <laughs> the chrome narrows on a big brute. I like that. Hey, what's going on, known? All right, is it going to work? Yes, it does. We're not getting any crop destruction. Nice. Sweetness. Um, very cool. So, there you go, kids. We got narrows now for the big brute. We'll take a look in the store at some of the other options on it. I just like having to be able to chrome out these narrows on this bad boy. Look at that. Let's <laughs> bling it out the big brute. All right, let's go back on over. Crop protection, big brute. Boom. Uh, standard attachers. You get your trailer hitch as we all aware. There you go. So, you get your wides, your narrows, and your standards. A couple different options there. And then, of course, like I said, our rim colors. Chrome, black, and white. So we had the chromes, there's your blacks. Not bad, very cool. Excellent. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, still not as much as I love these little Fiat's. These things are amazing. Oh, guys, I can't wait to mess with these. Cool. <laughs> uh, that is wicked, boom. Anyways, folks, that is it for your new mods for today. Like I said, we talked about all those new mods. Everything's available minus, oh, you know what? I forgot one more, I forgot one more, let's go back. Boom, let's try this out before I crash out. Last time I put this down, it crashed my game. So we're gonna find out, and DJ's gonna love that. Oh man, where is it now? Where is it, where is it, where is it? Is it under miscellaneous? Silo, silo? Oh, the snow melt, where does the snow melt? I had it up. There it is, okay. So the snow melting station, we'll see what happens here. I've got global companies connected on, so I placed this down and it crashed the game. Let's see if it does it again, boom. Okay, no, everything, no, it crashed again. I can't move. So this this mod is crashing my game. I don't know the exact reason. I do have, I don't know if I have the wrong version of um, of, C, of Global Companies on. Let's see here. The snow melting station. It shouldn't be, it doesn't even, it doesn't even technically need Global Companies, which is surprising. I do have a version loaded onto this save game, mind you. Anyways, it's supposed to uh, melt the snow, of course. Fully animated. I'd like to see this one. I'm gonna have to test it a bit more because I usually don't have any problems, but it's crashed my game the two times I've tried to put it in. So I do have global companies loaded in, but I just noticed actually in the menu when I first fired it up, it's not showing up there as a, as a purchase, um, as an option. So, but I do have it loaded. Actually, you know what? Because if I bring up, let's see. Oh, I can't even bring up any of my menus now. Escape is working. Yeah, escape works. Barely, I can't do anything though. It's locked up. <laughs> <laughs> but I am running a newer version of, of Global Companies. I'm, I think I'm running 1.3, and I don't know if that's maybe causing a problem. I don't know yet. So it's not working for me. I don't know. That's what you get. I know DJ likes the uh, when I'm Global Companies breaks. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, so we'll have to give that a test. Let me know if you guys in the comments below or later on, if you guys have a chance to test this one. If you can get it working, let me know what you guys did. If you notice you had a problem with it, it's not working for me right now. I've got to figure out what the problem is. But we'll see what happens. That's it for today. That's all the new mods. Uh, as like, no, there's no new updates. Of course, our new, new, no new mods in testing currently. As you guys are aware, I've been talking with us the last couple of days. As they're still in conference till the end of the week, but uh, that'll do it. Tonight we're going to be doing a live stream, most likely on what am I doing it on? Upper Mississippi River Valley, I believe, is the plan. 
we'll see. So if you guys are uh, wanting to catch that a little later on, make sure you guys ring that bell. Uh, I'll put out a post later on and you guys can be notified because you may not get a notification since we're doing a second live stream in the day. So a lot of times notifications do not go out. So make sure you guys do hit that bell and uh, maybe even click the remind me later button on the live stream once I put it live. So anyways, folks, that's going to do it for me. Do Medicine Creek. Oh, you know what? I've been looking at Medicine Creek Diesel Rock and since... To be perfectly honest, since the, uh, the the 80s farm build that we're doing with Squad and Squad Farms and Austin and Jake and everybody else uh, is on uh, UM, UMRV, uh, I may change it over. We'll see. I do like that map. I like Medicine Creek. Medicine Creek is awesome. So don't worry. UMRV is still going to be happening, unknown. Um, we're still doing that as part of the uh, the multiplayer roleplay series, but we might change up my, uh, my live stream series. We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Anyways, folks, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, any questions down below if you want to catch up check the uh, links on the right hand side come over to our discord channel facebook twitter all that fun stuff i'm there as well you guys can follow there that's gonna do it hopefully kbot doesn't make an appearance again next time i've got to mess up i think dj and i were talking about this i've got to mess up the stream every single time right now i think it's a new thing so um yeah that's gonna happen <laughs> anyways folks have a fantastic day and hopefully we'll see you a little later tonight otherwise we'll see you tomorrow morning have a good one guys see ya